story now. Tourism Minister Lindy Wasusulu is holding a briefing to present domestic and international tourism performance to date. Let's take you live there. The region that drove the growth in arrivals between 2021 and 2022 was predominantly African land. The second most significant region for growth was Europe and then the Americas third. But as we look ahead now, the future of our tourism and hospitality sector looks even brighter. And you will see at the end how much brighter it is. You might need your sunglasses on when you, you get a full picture. In August, uh, forward bookings increased by 328%. Between August to October, there was an impressive 287% increase in bookings. Um, this is an emerging trend as we are seeing that international tourists are now booking further in, f further in advance uh, for their future to ensure that they are able to travel here. For August to January 2023, the United Kingdom had by far the most forward bookings. The United States was the second in place and Germany was third in place with their forward bookings. And on the, air, on the airlift, uh, we are also seeing a steady increase in global seat capacity. Air capacity makes up uh, just over 61% as, uh, as of the 2019 levels, with Airlink as the largest airline, which has seen fares go up by 7%. Only Qatar saw price, prices dip pre -pandemic, uh, to pre-pandemic levels below, below 2021 and amongst the top airlines. Now, on Qatar, I've just received very good news, which I need to share with you, that we have an agreement with Qatar, a special agreement with Qatar, and that is very important to us because, as you know, they will be hosting the World Cup this year. And we have been chosen as one of those destinations that will be a hub for some of the spillover uh, visitors to, to, to Qatar. So we're very happy that we have this kind of uh, relationship and that we are uh, seeing the prices drop in anticipation of what we are going to be uh, facing in the future in c conjunction with them. On the international routes, 75% of seats, seat capacity in South Africa is in the Johannesburg routes. Seat capacity on the routes to Johannesburg grew by 71% over 2021 figures and Qatar is the largest source. Cape Town has 1.2 million seats with Emirates Airways being the largest route. And I must say at this point, uh, my team and I had gone to Dubai, to, uh, to the expo in Dubai. And thereafter we uh, ended up our travels and arrangements and uh, links with uh, Dubai by signing a very important uh, agreement with, with Emirates. And of course, unknown to me at that time, my team was extremely excited about the event. They were not so excited about the signing of the Emirates. They were more excited about the person who was signing with me. It happened to be His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Said Al Makhatoum, who indicated during his engagement, this was the highest ranking royal, royal prince in, in, in the Emirates. And we felt extremely honored that he would take time, some time from his schedule, his busy schedule, to come and sign. And uh, in, in my office stands a very uh, proud picture of myself signing with the prince. And uh, my team is prouder of that than I am because I was very shaken by this. Nonetheless, we signed off with Emirates and uh, we're very glad that we have. This is a long-term plan to grow tourism business and position the UAE as a destination rather than being a hub dependent on uh, passenger in transit. South Africa has a code sharing agreement with the Emirates, which gives the airline access to South Africa's domestic routes, while Emirates promotes South African airlines in, in, in the uh, area and also globally. We have since signed the Memorandum of Understanding with Emirates to grow tourism, uh, the tourism market in between the Emirates and ourselves. We view our collaboration with Emirates as critical in supporting our turnaround strategy and re rebuilding trust in travel 
to the global south, and we expect that we will boost our visitor arrivals. It will promote tourism, inbound traffic to South Africa from key, key, key markets that use Emirates as a conduit anyway. And I indicated earlier on, we are also working on a memorandum of understanding with Qatar, which will be hosting the World Cup, as I indicated earlier on. I hope that by the end of this week, we will be signing that uh, agreement, and we will invite you so that we can further develop our ideas of collaboration with Qatar. It's a very good market that we have out there in the Middle East, and we're very proud of it. Early this year, we held a very successful travel in Daba in May, and this provided the necessary springboard for our continent to achieve even greater levels of recovery. We held this on the back of an unfortunate incident in Guazulu Natal after the floods, but nonetheless, we committed ourselves that we will go ahead with the Indaba because it would bring in visitors and it would hopefully boost the economy of, uh, of uh, Eteguini and uh, the greater KwaZulu Natal, and we also pledged uh, TK that we uh, will give some of our returns to ensure that those people who are affected by the floods benefit from us hosting the Indaba. We thank these buyers who came over from all over the world uh, for their valued partnership in helping us uh, package Africa as an attractive tourism destination to various travelers from across the world. We are confident that a lot of mutually beneficial business deals will be born out of this travel in Daba, which we had in Durban. Last month, having been very concerned, as most of you who travel would have been very concerned, about um, cancellation of flights and uh, insecurity around whether or not people would be able to travel from one place to the other and the rising cost of travel, we agreed that we would meet uh, with, the, with the Airlines Association of South Africa. All right, those are live visuals there from Minister Susulu's briefing. It seems uh, the future of tourism and the hospital hospitality sector looks very bright, at least according to the data from the Tourism Ministry. But that's where I leave it for today. Enjoy